beautiful people and welcome to your April 2022 tarot forecast with me Julie Paul. Thank you for being here. All the links to work with me if you want to, I am open for bookings, is below in the description box along with the cards that I use. So these are good for your sun, moon, rising and for Venus and cross watching if you would like to. So without further ado, let's get into the messages for each of the 12 signs. Thank you. Hello, Aries, and welcome to April. A very happy birthday to all of you. Lovely Aries. Um, now then, where am I starting? We're going to be doing a general read with the tarot. We'll look at money and career uh, separately with this deck. But we're going to start off with some oracle cards for the general themes for April for you. And of course, it's your birthday season, the most powerful time of the year for you, Aries. So let's see what we have. We've got Go the Distance, Here and Now, and one more and truth be told okay so Aries the energy around you strongly here is all about you speaking your truth being in your power it's the number 14 which comes down to a five and fives are about change so what do you need to change Aries for you to truly be in your power to speak your truth with wisdom that's what the owl represents and opening the door to your own truth coming away from the mask and just being your real authentic self as you do that you are enabling yourself to push forward with the go the distance card this is all about mastery it's 47 which comes down to an 11 11 is mastery what is it that you are wanting where is the finish line what is the finish line what are you trying to achieve here so you're focusing very much on where you've been and where you're going that's the past and the future here but whilst we set those intentions okay that we're building a future based on the past it's been relevant of where I am it's another number five it's a 32 which comes to a five again we are bringing the attention into right here right now what do I need to do right here right now in order to get me to my goal because there's goals here in a very strong and truthful way how interesting let's get a unicorn card before we move on to the tarot in fact, I want three. Okay, let's have a look. There's one. Two and three. Okay, let's have a look. So, from the unicorns, we have caring community, participate and belong, enriching your life. This is all about neighbors and the community that you live in getting yourself involved, taking part, reaching out. And as you do that, you are opening yourself up to abundance. Believe you deserve, accept prosperity and that plenty energy. There's plenty more where that came from. There's loads here. I am in this energy of abundance. And listen to your heart. Awaken psychic abilities, tune in to the infinite. Look at the beautiful colours on these cards. So you've got this abundance and within this community. This can be family, friends, neighbourhood, groups that you might want to join, you know, social um, events and things that may be going on in your community, which is going to open you up to a greater abundance. Beautiful. All right, let's put those, move them over there a little bit and then we'll move on to the tarot. So let's have a look what's going on for you from the tarot. Okay, how are we doing this this week? All right, I'm just listening to my team. So they want us to have six cards here and we may want to build on these nice there you are showing up in your own reading all right so aries we have got the devil with the ten of cups the three of cups with the emperor and the nine of wands with justice okay 
So this has been a long time coming. You've been waiting for this justice. It's been heavy. There's been blocks. Things have been in the way, but you are not letting anything stop you to get to that abundance, to open up to your truth, to go the distance. So this devil energy, we know what this is about. Restrictions, toxicities, addictions, feeling trapped, feeling stuck, feeling like nothing was in going your way, yeah? You know what you want, which I love. The Ten of Cups is here. I know what I want. So because I'm really clear about what I want, I want the roses around the door. I want the family. I want the security. I want the happiness that I know I deserve. So anything that is holding me back, it's time for it to go. Whether it's the wrong job, the wrong friends, the wrong relationship, whether it's the wrong way of thinking, a limited um, thought pattern of I can't, I'm stuck, it's no good, I don't have the power. It's time for this to go. You're in your birthday season, Aries. You are in your most powerful time. So if ever there's a time to shake off that devil to be able to access your Ten of Cups, this is the month to do it. And you're going to achieve it because the Three of Cups is a celebration, an uplifting, um, successful card. It is also a card of community because we have friendships here and we've got that community card there as well. So we are spending time celebrating for your birthday, getting out with people and that in itself, that being around other people is what's helping you to truly come into your power with the Emperor card here. This is your energy. You know, the reason the Emperor is so huge on that bridge is it's saying, look, I can overcome any gaps that might be in the way. Bridges always symbolize where you are and where you want to be. The bridge, you know, closes the gap so you can get there. But the emperor is so big here that he can easily be able to bridge any gap. Yeah. Now they're saying explain a bit more. Okay. Um, let's say that. Okay. They're giving me the example of, let's say you've decided you want to change your career and you want to do something else, but you don't have the qualifications, the skills, the experience in this other thing you want to do. This will be the time, I'm mindful of him holding that scroll, where you decide I'm going to go in back to college, back to university, back to school. I'm going to get those qualifications. I'm going to close that gap so that I can go the distance to get to where I want to go and nothing is going to hold me back because it has been hard. The Nine of Wands is that battle-weary soldier. If you've been in a dead-end job or just it's run its course, you don't want to do it anymore and feeling with that devil card there that you can't see a way forward, this is the time you absolutely can. Justice is now moving in your favour. Those scales want to balance, that sun wants to come out. This mm, they're showing me the energy moving towards you and it being all around you, the energy of justice, balance, fairness. So look at this bottom row, Ten of Cups with the Emperor and Justice. We can overcome the burden and the difficulty. We can overcome the restrictions and we can get to that balance that we are seeking, Aries. Fabulous. Do we want to clarify? Yes, they're saying two more. Okay, tell me a little bit more about this, my Aries, then, please. The Three of Swords and the Fool. Beautiful. So there we go. What's been holding you back has been old hurts, old restrictions, old pains. It's time for them to go. Mm. They're, yeah, they're... See the flames around this? It feels now as if what was broken is burning away to leave a fresh, clean, wonderful new energy underneath it. It's time for this to go. We have the fool with it. So you're ready for this brand new beginning to end the struggle, to end the restriction, to move yourself into your power, into your happy ever after and into that balance. Super. All right. 
let's have a look at money and career for my Aries now money job career investments anything to do with that material side please for Aries for April and we have the chariot you're moving forward you're ready to go the brakes are off with the tower and the eight of wands well wow. that is very interesting because the eight of wands is the minor arcana equivalent of the chariot so you're having a double message here and the tower in the middle means it's going to come through quickly easily it's just going to fall into place so that which you're trying to move forward in your career in your finances is ready we have the justice card we have the easing of restrictions this new beginning with the fool you're in your birthday season so allow that tower to fall if you go into work one day and just think to yourself i can't do this anymore and you just walk out and you think what the hell have i done and I'm not suggesting you do that but some of you may just feel this is it I'm done I can't do this anymore I'm off and you are leaving you are moving yourself forward uh, without restrictions the eight of wands is always about restrictions being lifted being cleared being able to move forward now and that tower is helping you so in terms of money and career, you are moving forward now in April. Now, this could be the beginnings of this, that this is where you're just beginning to apply for something new. Um, yeah, they're just showing me for some of you wanting to start your own business, you are uh, the entrepreneurs amongst you. This is the time you go. It's now. This is now. I'm in the here and now. This is going to go the distance. I'm being truthful with myself that there is a burden, there is a restriction, and it's time for me to take my power and bring justice and a new beginning into my world. Beautiful. Let's finish off with an angel card. Final message for my Aries, please. Final message. Thank you so much. Receptivity. Be open to receive, Aries. All this good stuff wants to come towards you. Be open to receive. Just know that the universe is bringing it down and in and around you. And all you need to do is open your arms and your heart to receive all this beautiful new beginning that wants to come in for you how exciting all right Aries that is what I have for you for April I hope that helps thank you so much for being here have an amazing April and I will see you next time take care bye bye